not be able to see these creatures, but you can still hear them. I like how this girl is always charging ahead. Fear not. She has already proved a valuable asset to us. I've been thinking about what Farrah said earlier. She has a point. How do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough. Ugh. <sighs> 
A beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea.
Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment. We did it. hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. the prince and Pharaoh separate. She sought to save lives, he to end them. For the prince intended to confront his enemy and perhaps utilize the powerful warriors who had holed up inside the temple. His mind churned with thoughts of glorious vengeance. But something new as well. Descending into the depths, his thoughts kept returning to Pharaoh. He wondered if she was thinking of him as well. Should I continue from here when you return? 